Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today we are going to take a look at the Mega Capsules. Uh, let's go to the marketplace to get a first look at those Mega Capsules. Or I should say the Resurgence Mega Capsules. I already made a video about that, but here we're going to be, we're going to be able to take a, a closer look at what those capsules actually, actually are and how they actually work. So the first place where you can get those uh, Resurgence Mega Capsules are from the marketplace. Uh, in the past, time capsules would only drop in the game, or you could buy more from the broker if you wanted to. In this case, they made it a bit different. In this case, you can decide if, if somehow the, the mega capsules do not drop often enough in the game for you, you can go straight to the marketplace and you can purchase them. Um, if you're not a member, the, the, the mega capsules are 700 market cash or $7 if you will. But as you can see, if you are a member, you do get your member discount. So you can see here it's 630 market cash. Uh, from what I understand, there is absolutely, absolutely no difference between the, the mega capsule you can purchase in the marketplace and those that drop in game, except one thing. The mega capsule that do drop in the game do not stack. Uh, let's put that here. <clears throat> the Mega Capsule that drop in the game do not stack. Uh, apparently the reason for that is that, the, as you can see, it says that the, 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 the Mega Capsules are perishable, that they will expire in approximately 14 days. So <clears throat> someone has uh, mentioned that that's probably why those do not stack, because let's say this one expires in 14 days, this one expires in 12 days, and this one expires in 10 days. Well, usually that's probably why it doesn't stack. If you stack them all, well, which one expires when? That will probably uh, mess up with that system. So uh, basically they've made the, the Mega Capsules perishables, at least those that drop in the game. But from what I understand, those that you do purchase in the marketplace, those do stack. And as far as I know, uh, the, the ones you purchase in the marketplace are not perishables. So let's take a quick look at what we can have. And also you can see those uh, mega capsules are account bound. What does that mean? Uh, basically, it means that you cannot sell them on the broker. Uh, selling time capsules in the broker has been uh, something quite popular. Uh, as soon as uh, time capsules were available, there were people who would sell those time capsules on the broker. Sadly, as you can see right now, you cannot sell the mega capsules on the broker. Not sure why they did that. Um, I suspect it's probably just a matter that they, they really want you to spend the actual stabilizers to open them. Uh, like if you, you can, you probably can sell the, uh, you probably can sell the items in the, the mega capsules on the broker, but you have to open them first. So right now I have, uh, these are the free stabilizers that I saved up uh, for a bit. I stopped uh, opening uh, time capsules. Uh, some people were wondering why. Um, ideally I was saving those stabilizers for the, the, the next upcoming time capsule that will most likely be released on, uh, on April 18th. Uh, but um, I guess we're going to use, the, use at least some of those right now. So uh, we're going to open two of those uh, resurgence. The resurgence capsules, the, the resurgence mega capsule requires seven stabilizers to unlock. But within those, uh, those, ca those uh, capsules, you get the re resurgence, resurgence capsule aura. So you, basically you, you use seven stabilizers to get an aura, a random aura, but you also get one of each time capsules. So technically you get nine time capsules, so you save Roughly, you save two stabilizers. Like you get two time capsules for free, and you could almost argue that the resurgence aura is a, is also free, but uh, I'll let you guys decide on that. So let's open our very first resurgence mega capsule. So as you saw, it gave us one of each time capsules, and those time capsules are already already unlocked. You're not gonna you're not going to have to to use uh, stabilizers to open those uh, time capsules. You can already open them, and you can see we have the resurgence aura capsule. So we'll take a look at, at that uh, in just a second. Uh, basically, I'm curious to see also what stack and what doesn't stack. So you can see everything stacks. 
So all the time capsules from the, the mega capsules stack and also the resurgence, resurgence aura capsule stack. So if you wanted to, let's say, open uh, 100 uh, resurgence uh, mega capsule for reasons, well, everything from those capsules would actually stack. And you can see also it stacks up to 999. So we can have uh, quite a lot of them. So let's see what's inside those. Uh, uh, well, we'll start with the aura. From what I can tell right now, the most popular aura is the fire aura. No, oh, and I didn't get it. I'm so sad. So we got the glowing aura and we got the nucle nuclear aura, which is uh, the nuclear aura is not not my favorite one. So let's take a quick look on the broker. In, in case you guys don't know, you can you can purchase those auras from the broker. So if for some reason you don't want to spend actual money, like you can see right now, the nuclear aura is worth about nine million. And let's see how much the and the glowing aura is worth uh, three three million, sadly. Now let's take a quick look at all the auras. Uh, sadly, we're going to have to go through all the auras, but it shouldn't be too painful. We'll try to do it fairly quick. One of the better auras in my book is the Arctic Aura. I should probably get a better armory for that. Uh, there we go. So as I was saying, one of the better aura in my book is the Arctic Aura. Uh, if you have a, an ice character, an ice-powered character, yeah, you may want to get that aura. It's probably the better uh, ice-looking aura that I've seen so far. Although there are, there's quite a few options. If for some reason you cannot get the, the Arctic aura, which right now, as you can see, is about 8 million on the broker, uh, there's, a, there's a few alternatives that you could uh, probably use. I'm going to show you the auras on the broker because I strongly doubt that I'll try to get all the auras. I'll try to get maybe two or three of those auras. So there's a lot of those auras that I will probably not get. There's the enigmatic aura, which is really, really nice. Right now you can see it's uh, 5.7 million. And it's a nice, uh, it's a nice looking aura. I think this one is uh, based on the mental powers, I think. Uh, again, there's one aura for each power, but there's a few exceptions. Uh, for example, the, the, the light power has uh, green lantern powers and yellow lantern powers. So for the light power, there's actually two auras. And the same with the uh, celestial. Celestial, there's the, the, the corrupted side and there's the, the good side. I forget the actual name. Uh, again, there's an aura for the good side and there's an aura for the corrupted side. And here you can see the red lantern aura, which looks uh, really nice. Although we do have already a few options for a nice uh, red lantern aura. So if for some reason you cannot get this aura, there are a few options you can get. So we have here the glorious aura for about 8 million. And we have the glowing aura for about 4 million. So you can see here, this is the Green Lantern version. We're going to see the Sinister Aura in a bit, which will be the Yellow Lantern version. Although this could kind of work for an, an evil Yellow Lantern as well. Uh, you decide. Hopefully I won't skip one by accident, but uh, if I do, uh, I strongly apologize. So here we have the mechanized aura. I think this one is based on the uh, the gadget power. The mystical aura is... Uh, Personally, I'm not too crazy about that. Oh well. Uh, the nuclear aura, I'm not too crazy about that one either. Also, I'm not sure I would use this. Uh, if I had a, a nuclear powered character, I wouldn't use this aura because the, 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 you already have an aura if you play a, a nuclear powered character. 
So I would I would just use the uh, the aura that comes with the nuclear power itself instead of purchasing an actual aura. The scorching aura is by far the most uh, popular it seems. And you can see why. People have been waiting for a long, long time to get this aura. So if you've been dying to recreate a Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, you have the aura for you now. And here you can see you can get the Sinister Aura for uh, fairly cheap, about 4 million. So this is the official Evil Yellow Lantern Aura. There's the Sparking Aura that is, as you can see, somewhat pricey, which surprises me a bit because I don't think it looks really good. But I guess there's a lot of electric players who have been waiting for such an aura. And there's a lot of Flash players who are probably wanting to have this aura. So uh, Flash is really, really popular right now in this universe online. So I'm not, uh, I'm not really surprised. Although the aura doesn't look that good. So I can imagine if, if the aura actually looked... Uh, actually looked really good, uh, it probably would be even uh, more popular. Here we have the uh, the Surging Aura, which, which seems to be the water-based aura. Although we already have a nice uh, water-based aura already, so I'm not sure I would use this one. Although if you don't have the, uh, the water aura that was released previously, uh, then I can see... Uh, there's also the Temporal Aura. That's... that's that has to be the worst of them all. I, I, the words uh, fail me. I would, I would never use that. This is supposed to be the quantum aura, and um, go no, there, there's so many auras that are better than that. Uh, I don't think I'll ever use this one. And there's the terrestrial aura. It looks, uh, it looks pretty neat. And I think that's it, or there might be one left. Oh, the Watchful Aura. Uh, this one is uh, for munition powers. Well, it looks, uh, looks nice. Although I, I can easily see that being used for a whole, uh, a whole lot of stuff other than munitions. And here we have the Wicked Aura, which is the evil celestial side of, of celestial powers. Uh, which looks uh, pretty cool. Obviously, some auras look better than others. So you decide which one you like and when, which one you want to get. Oh yeah, and there's the Wild Aura. Uh, and it's pretty inexpensive. 3.9. 3.6. So this one obviously is the nature aura with a whole bunch of uh, of leaves uh, flying around your character, or floating around your character, I should say. In total, there are seventeen auras that you can get. So whenever you open the uh, the mega capsules, you have one chance out of seventeen to get the actual aura that you want. And as you can see, we got the nuclear aura and we got the glowing aura. I'll probably try and sell the nuclear aura because I, I'm not too crazy about it. Uh, we'll see. And uh, uh, since we have a whole bunch of uh, time capsules, uh, let's see what we're going to get. So opening our time capsules, we got a whole bunch of quarks. We got some antimatter modes. We got some unbreakable modes, some fabricated modes. Uh, we got some beyond gear, notorious emblems, uh, speed metal gear identity tactical gear and all that good stuff so I'm going to open uh, all of those I will skip to uh, when they're actually open no point in uh, having you go through all that 
So I opened my time capsules. Uh, sadly, I didn't get the, that many lucky drop. This is probably the luckiest thing I got, the tall peak cap. Uh, which uh, sadly I already have. I didn't get any anything I didn't have already. Uh, there's a few emblems that I was uh, tempted not to take, but uh, I figured why not. Uh, there's two or three items that I decided to uh, to take the 10 extra quarks instead. But overall, uh, you can see what I got. So we got the nuclear aura and the glowing aura out of this uh, of the, out of those two mega capsules. But there's something else also that was added to the quarks vendor. So let's go take a look at that right now. So there's a little box that was added to the quarks vendor. So let's take a quick look. So you can see there's the concentrated power set aura box that was added to the quarks vendor. The concentrated power set aura box basically give, it allows you to choose one aura of your choice. I wasn't really planning on uh, on buying some of those. Uh, basically, I was saving my quarks for the resplendent cash, but uh, let's purchase at least uh, one uh, concentrated uh, power set aura box. So the way it works, again, you can see you have your concentrated power set aura box. Uh, they stack from 1 to 999. Account bound, cannot sell. All that good stuff. So let's click on the aura and see on, on the box and see what aura we can get. So you can see we can choose a sinister, a sinister. We can choose an aura box from all the existing aura box. Again, as I mentioned, there's 17 of them. So in this case, the the good thing, unlike the, uh, the actual mega aura, a mega capsule, is that you can actually choose the aura that you want. So if you want the sinister aura, you can get it. Although it's not the actual aura, you're, you're going to see in just a minute. Now let's go for the Scorching Aura Box, because oh, why not? So as you can see, it gave us a Scorching Aura Box. Again, those Scorching Aura Box can stack from a, a 1 to 999. So let's take a look at what's in the box. So again, within the Scorching Aura Box, you can choose between a whole bunch of different auras. Technically, they are the very same thing at the, the full size, the scorching aura. The distinction is that in this case, you have an aura for, let's say, the hand, the heads and the feet. Uh, here, the heads and the hand, the head, the hands and feet, the hands, right hand, feet, and all that good stuff. So you can choose basically which part of the, the aura that you actually want. Uh, in this case, let's go for... Uh, let's go for the head and the hands. So again, you, gonna, you don't have the full aura. I will show you the distinction in just a second. So let's consume uh, our glowing aura. And let's consume our scorching aura, head and hands. And let's go to our styles. Come on, come on. There we go. So if we go into the accessory, if we go to the glowing, uh, where is it? The glowing aura. So you can see our glowing aura covers the entire character. As opposed to, if we go to the scorching aura, the scorching aura only covers the parts that are mentioned in the description. In this case, the head and the hands. So if you want to get the, the Scorching Aura that covers everything, uh, sadly, you're going to have to get either to get lucky or you're going to have to purchase it from the broker. So if you're lucky enough to get it from a Mega Capsule, even better for you. But if not, you're going to have to bite the bullet and buy it from the broker. So that pretty much covers it for the, uh, the Mega Capsules. Uh, again, those are in the game only for a limited time. You have until April 18th, if I'm not mistaken, in order to be able to get those mega capsules. So again, you can either purchase them from the marketplace or you can, uh, you can buy the auras from the broker. Again, as you saw, some are not that expensive, but some like the, the, the Scorching Aura are pretty, pretty expensive. So you're going to have to play the broker quite a bit if you want to be able to purchase the most uh, expensive of the auras. And that's uh, pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, 
Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.